Over the course of a day, Russia's total losses in Ukraine became an absolute record, Ukrainian soldiers managed to defeat 1,740 opponents. As of May 13, the enemy had lost 484,030 invaders, the ground forces of the Ukrainian armed forces reported on Telegram. In addition, 31 occupier tanks, 42 armored combat vehicles, 15 artillery systems, 4 multiple launch rocket systems, 26 operational tactical drones, 3 cruise missiles, 59 units of automotive equipment and tank trucks and 6 units of special equipment were destroyed. Advisor to the mayor of the still-occupied Mariupol, Pyotr Andriyashenko, wrote in his messenger, 1,740 good Russians per day. An absolute record. But Ukraine's military chief Oleksandr Sersky said his forces were facing a difficult situation in the northeastern Kharkiv region, where thousands more people have fled their homes amid an advance by Russian forces. Ukraine's general staff said fighting was raging around Vovchansk, a town about 4 kilometers from the border and 45 kilometers from Kharkiv, Ukraine's second biggest city and the capital of the Kharkiv region. The Ukrainian military said Russia had deployed significant forces for its attack on the town, but taking no account of their own losses, with at least 100 soldiers reported dead. In recent days, Vovchansk has become a key target of Russia's new offensive, as Russia launched an attempt on May 10 to break through in Kharkiv Oblast. The general staff said it is mounting a defensive operation to halt Russian advances that have breached Ukraine's defenses. Additional reserves are being deployed to the area in order to stabilize the situation. Our defenders are conducting defensive operations, inflicting fire damage on the enemy, widely using unmanned systems for reconnaissance and pinpoint strikes to inflict maximum losses. Vovchansk was previously liberated from Russian occupation during Ukraine's lightning counteroffensive in September 2022.